this is riff on Beitza Daf Yud Ches. Um, now the Mishnah had just said that um, there was a machlokas beishamay and beishilal whether you can uh, immerse uh, vessels on Shabbos or uh, before Shabbos. Uh, this is where the vessels were um, were tamei. So again, the Mishnah chalios achar hashabbos. If you have yom tov immediately after Shabbos, beishamay omrim matzbilin asakal, you can. Uh, immerse both of them. You, you sh- should immerse both of them before Shabbos, um, and thus also before uh, Yom Tov, because it's Friday, then you have Shabbos, and then Yom Tov. And they still say, Kalim with Neha Shabbos, you should immerse the utensils, the vessels, uh, before Shabbos, the Adam Bishabbos, and the man um, on Shabbos itself. So, Regardless, everybody, the Gemara points out that everybody agrees that the vessels you shouldn't be immersing on Shabbos. So, why not? Why not? So, Amr of Yosef, uh, Rav Yosef says, Gzeira Mishum Schita, it's a decree lest you squeeze it out, uh, you wring it out, which would be a malacha. Uh, so, the Gemara uh, objects that Tenach Kalim Divnei Schita Aninu. This is fine for vessels that um, can be, uh, you could squeeze them out. Um, but certain types of vessels, certain types of utensils, you wouldn't squeeze out. It's impossible to do so. So, Kalim de Labne Schitan in who? Mayil Kalamemar, what are you going to say? So, we say, Xeran Eatuhane. You make Xeran these uh, because of those. Um, another possibility, Revibi Amar Xera Shamayisha. This, we're talking about uh, immersing uh, vessels that are Tame, to make sure that they're not Tame and so that they don't uh, make other things Tame, namely Truma. So uh, this is a decree, lest you leave them around, and while you leave them around waiting for immersion on Yom Tov, um, they'll end up baking through Matami. So, Tani Kavase de Rebibi. There's a price in accordance with the Rebibi, because it says, Kalisha Nifmimir of Yom Tov. If there was a vessel that was, um, a vessel that was um, made impure from Erev Yom Tov, and the Vatan also be Yom Tov. You don't immerse it on Yom Tov, as a Gzeir Hashem Yisheh, because if you let him do it, he's going to let it lie around, and then, uh, it's, and we want to make sure that somebody doesn't delay. 